Guys, I hope you all might have heard about the new accessory from Carberry Motorcycles. That is the vibration reduction plate. If you have not, then there are a lot of articles in top leading auto websites detailing about what this plate is and how it works. This video is not covering about what this plate is and how it works and all. I am going to give you a review after using this plate on my Continental GT. It's been almost a week since I have used this. Uh, this is really fantastic and watch this video until then because I am going to tell you different aspects of how it has impacted on my bike. So stay tuned. As you can see, the vibration reduction plate comes within a plastic box. You um, find a note that's basically a, a word of caution. And then uh, there's this plate wrapped within bubble plastic sheet. As you see, um, the plate actually uh, is similar to what uh, you normally have uh, on your Enfield. I'll probably try to show the old plate sometime in the later part of this video. You get a spring along with a extra fitting for your engine. This is tied to the plate using a plastic knot. So this is basically the word of caution that I was referring. So this is the overall packaging provided by Carberry. So let me show you how this uh, plate normally uh, can ease it. So, as you all know, the vibrations within GT, it, they should be called like killer vibrations. They are really hectic, man. And uh, when it comes to those uh, handlebars, that is the clip-ons, the vibrations that I used to get were really hectic. So, I changed, uh, obviously, to these uh, handlebars that are more comfortable to ride for longer rides. But um, they were able to eliminate the vibration to say 5 or 6 percent to certain After extent. After installing this plate on the GT, um, the vibrations have almost been reduced to say 60 percentage uh, to a greater extent. Um, you can also see that while riding this bike, the mirror earlier used to vibrate a lot. The stock mirrors vibrates a lot when you go on uh, high end speeds or even lower speeds as uh, high as 30 kilometer per hour they keep on vibrating you won't be able to see anything at the back but after installing these plates they have been quite stable it's not like the uh, vehicle doesn't uh, vibrate at all yes the bike vibrates but then it doesn't give you those killer vibes on your hand doesn't make your ride or your journey really hectic you can ride it quite safe you can just see that how idle it is now this was not the earlier scenario on my GT. Um, even at this idle start, these handlebars would start vibrating if I keep on holding like this. And when I am at a um, traffic signal, when I am at a traffic signal, um, it keeps on vibrating. So you get those vibes on your hand uh, as if you those wearing those gloves is at most necessary. But yeah, guys, now it's at most good. I, I feel that you guys should try this. 
vibrations at uh, higher speed you guys know that the biggest problem with royal enfield is that when the motorcycle goes uh, above say 70 kilometers the vibrations are really bad and with respect to gt it's uh, entirely a different case um, you give an accelerator quickly it gets to 60 and you can easily touch uh, 80 within uh, less than two minutes so it's quite fast um, the biggest issue is that once you touch 80 or 70 the motorcycle starts to vibrate really bad you get all those vibrations in your hand as if your hands are going to break down that was the real issue with this motorcycle i don't know if everyone would agree to that but for me that was the specific case with this particular motorcycle but now after installing this plate what i have seen is that the during the initial periods that is uh, until 40 kilometer per hour there are uh, kind of vibrations not bad i can say but something that you normally would uh, feel from a uh, thumper but once it crosses that 60 kilometers per hour it starts to feel smooth say when i say smooth i don't mean that it will be really like japanese bikes that you see nowadays not like ktm or anything even but this motorcycle or any royal enfield as you guys know have ridden when i say vibrations you guys know what i mean so those vibrations are gone the vehicle is a bit smoother so when uh, i say about those vibrations i would say that when comparing to what it was before there is a reduction of almost 40 percent in those kind of vibrations so it's really smooth and at times i have seen that after uh, two three days of uh, riding this plate i have seen that there was a considerable smooth ratio of movement so uh, i was able to make out that yes i want to ride this uh, bike again for the next say 100 or 200 kilometers more so that's one of a change vibrations during uh, idle times so earlier when i used to uh, start my motorcycle just at the time of start the exhaust the tanks would just really vibrate vibrate as if not uh, hard vibrations but you would feel those vibrations coming in your motorcycle now let's see uh, how it is after installing this plate vibrations this is what i mean there are vibrations but they are not as bad as you might feel on your body while you sit there hmm. so uh, vibrations on the chassis uh, as you know that the engine sits directly on this chassis and most of the vibrations that come from the engine hit this chassis and directly to your body so uh, speaking about the vibrations on the chassis, I don't see a great improvement on that. Yes, uh, there might be a reduction of say 10-15% hardly on the vibrations on the chassis. Uh, you can feel them um, if you are at this center portion. So guys, to conclude this video, uh, Royal Enfield, despite having acquired most of the renowned firms, uh, including several designing and performance uh, firms like Harris Performance have failed to address some important or major uh, things within their engine. They have failed to address the improvements over their engine. I won't say that this is a significant uh, discovery or quite a great product uh, as such that uh, completely eliminates the vibrations in the engine. But I think this is something that Royal Enfield could have done in their engines. I thank Paul uh, Carberry uh, who has come up with such a concept. It's really helpful. Uh, if Royal Enfield would have given this as stock in their engines, I think it could have really helpful. So this is uh, for Siddharth Lal. If you are watching this video, uh, 
uh, we all would really appreciate if you can have some research done on your engines work out and try to eliminate these vibrations as every rider around in the world if you see on the royal enfield forums i have tried to post this uh, similar post there everyone has said that they would want to have this plate there the reason is because they want to avoid these vibrations the motorcycles you guys make is really awesome we like the way it rides we like the posture we like the make everything is good but then vibrations is the thing that is really bad about these motorcycles and if you try to address them in the engines i feel that everyone would love and the people who are running out of royal enfield now would come back to you great i hope this video was helpful guys do let me know if you have uh, more uh, questions about this if you would want to know something i would be happy to let you know if you reside in Cochin, I have given the details of my mechanic down in the description. You can contact him directly. Since he has done it before, he, it would be quite easier for him to do it now. Uh, if you really feel this video has given you some information, do like the video and do subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned.